galaxies all day long. This is my favorite line of all times. Our lives are determined by the things we never plan. Right? So you never know, obviously, when you're going to have an emergency. Usually what people will call first. So we can sort of direct them to what we think they should do. Um, and that's very helpful. So what do you need to have to go to the animal hospital if something happens? You need to, um, you need to bring your identification. You need to have a good idea of your pet's history. It's really important to know what kind of medications your pet is on or to know their vaccine history. Very, very important. Lots of things, and those are dates and things that are difficult to remember. One of the greatest things that PetSide has for pet owners, which I think is so innovative and smart, is exactly what we're talking about. It, it's a place where pet, people can log on, and when they register their pets, they can put all that information in there. So that no matter where you are, anywhere in the world, you have your pet's information at any time. That's invaluable. What happens when you find a pet on the road, or it's your own pet? you know is like the best dog on earth. When they're in pain, they don't react normally. And so, should you pick them up? Thinking ahead of time and not just knee jerking and picking up a wounded animal. You have to really think about it and, and think about protecting yourself. Especially if it's not your own pet and you don't know a vaccine history and you don't know what's going on. There are actually pet ambulances. Not very many. And this is not a pet taxi. This is actually um, at least on Long Island, we have one wonderful service. It's called AmbuVet. If you need help in a hurry, then that pet ambulance will come and help you. They could even transport you from your family veterinarian's office to a specialty hospital for overnight care or for whatever, or pick the pet up at your home and bring the pet to an emergency clinic for you. We have oxygen on board. We're licensed veterinary technicians. What we do, we take preliminary vital signs, heart rate, respiration rate, um, tablet refill time, all the information that's uh, necessary in order for us to go ahead and transfer the animal to a specialty facility. We'll give them a call, let them know what's coming in so that they're ready for the emergency. And um, again, we're, the availability is the key thing. We're always available. What's well, an emergency to one person is not always an emergency to another, which is why it's always good to call. But most people who call, I would say to them, if you were worried enough to call, you should seek attention. Because what's the worst thing? They triage you in your home, or you get a blood test and you feel better and you sleep better that night. Because the worst thing you've ever